Hello everyone and welcome back to another mathematics and GIS tutorial and in this tutorial video I want to talk about another example of finding the standard equation from an ellipse if you're given a series of parameters and so I want to look at this question saying what is the standard equation of the ellipse if the vertices are negative 2 negative 8 negative 2 2 and the foci are negative 2 negative 7 and negative 2 1 and I want to break this problem down first of all. The way I always like to do this is I like to look and see, well, what information are we given? And what is that information leading us to believe? So the first thing we see is that we have vertices and we have foci. Right? And so whenever you see a vertice, you know you're dealing with some sort of A parameter. And whenever you see foci, you know you're dealing with some sort of C parameter. Next, I want to actually look at the points, and I realize immediately that there are no zeros here at all, which means that we've immediately left the realm of dealing with a ellipse centered at the origin, which means that we're going to have some form of h and k. Next, I want to look at the, the points of the vertices, and what I want to look for is I want to see, okay, what coordinate is changing? Is it the x-coordinate or is it the y-coordinate? Because this is going to tell me what direction, right, what, which, uh, which direction this vertice or this ellipse is oriented in. All right, so the x is negative 2 here, the x is negative 2 here. So that means that the x's are the same, which means the y's are changing, which means the ellipse is going uh, vertically. Right, so this is a vertical ellipse, not centered at the origin. And so our equation here for a vertical ellipse not centered, well actually, hold on, let's, let's actually, let's explain how I got there again. Right, negative two, negative two, right? I don't want to leave anyone behind. So since x is the same, the ellipse is vertical. Since the x's are the same, the ellipse is vertical. And since none of these are zero, right, we know we're not centered at the origin. Okay, so what does this mean? The ellipse is vertical. This means that we have our standard equation that we're shooting for is going to be x minus h over b squared plus y minus k over a squared equals 1. And I put the a under the y because, again, your a is always going to be the bigger number, and your bigger number is always going to go under whichever direction the ellipse is oriented. So because the ellipse is oriented in the y direction, a is going to go under the y. What does this also tell us? Well, this also tells us that our y-coordinate of the vertex, right, the y-coordinate of the vertex is going to be y equals, right, and if this part confuses you, I encourage you to go back to the video where we talked about the standard equation of vertical ellipses not oriented at the origin. Because what we know from that video is that the y-coordinate is going to be equal to a plus k. Or y is going to be equal to k minus a. Take your pick. I prefer to work with the positive one, so this is the one we're going to work with. Right. But we keep, keep this in the back of our minds. The vertex lets us relate a and k, and that similarly... Right for the foci, so let's do this in red. Right for the foci, we know the y chord of foci is going to be y equals c plus k, or y equals k minus c. Take your pick. I always prefer to work with the positive ones. I just find them a little more convenient. So we're going to use these two equations at some point. We're going to aim for this overall equation at the end. 
And again, if you don't understand where these came from, go back and watch the previous video. So we know how to relate y to a and k. We know how to relate a and k to the equation, but what are a and k? Or what are x and k? What are, what are any of these parameters that we need to find? Well, let's go ahead and take a thought for a second here. We know h and k are also the coordinates of the center of the ellipse, right? So we know that the center of the ellipse is equal to right h comma k. So how does that help us? Well, we can actually figure out what the center of the ellipse is. Because if you think about it for a second, right, the center of the ellipse is just the midpoint between the vertices. Right? So the center of the ellipse is the midpoint of the vertices. And we know how to calculate the midpoint of the vertices, right? We know how to use the midpoint formula. So let's just really quickly do the midpoint formula, right? It's x2 minus x, or plus x1 over 2 for the x. And it's y is going to be y2 plus y1 over 2. Um, now, because the x's are the same, right, they're not changing, we don't have to worry the, um, the x coordinate of the center is going to be negative 2. So we know this is going to be negative 2. We don't have to do any math. But the y coordinate, right, we can do some quick math. We'll do 2 plus negative 8 over 2 is equal to negative 6 over 2 is equal to negative 3. All right, so now we know our center is going to be negative 2 comma negative 3. Okay, so now we also know that means that equals h comma k. Right, so now we have h equals negative 2, and k equals negative 3. If any of that was confusing, I encourage you to pause the video, go back and rewatch the part you're confused about. All we did was use the midpoint formula on the two vertice points to get the center of the ellipse. So now we have h and k. I'm going to slide over just a little bit. All right. So we, we kept the values of h and k visible down here. And now we're going to work with the equations that we um, that we have. So just to sort of remind ourselves, we have the point negative 2 comma negative 8 for vertex. Actually, let's do that in blue. All right, our vertex. We have the point negative 2 comma negative 8. And for our foci, I'm going to use the point negative 2 comma negative 7. Okay, and then we have our center, which is our h and our k of negative 2 comma negative 3. So let's go ahead and wrap this all up with a nice bow. So let's use the, let's figure out a here. So we can rearrange the coordinates from the vertex to be a is equal to, I'm going to call this y. I'm going to rearrange this equation, so I'm going to subtract a y from both sides, subtract an a from both sides, multiply through by negative 1. So we're going to get y minus k. All right, if you don't understand how I made that uh, adjustment in my head, um, it's just some quick algebra. All right, a equals y sub v, because we're talking about vertex, minus k. So if we put that in, we get, so if we solve for a, we get a is equal to what is y sub v is the y of the vertex, negative 8. 
minus our k, which is the y-coordinate of the center, minus negative 3, negative 8 minus negative 3 is going to be equal to negative 8 plus 3, which is going to be 5. And it actually makes perfect sense, right? This is just the distance from the center to the vertex. And the difference between negative 3 and negative 8 is 5. So this makes sense. So A is 5. Then we want to do C using the coordinate of the, vert of the foci. right? Rearranging that equation, same thing. We get C equals Y sub F for the foci minus K. Plugging in our values, we get C is equal to our y coordinate of the foci is negative 7, and our k is still negative 3, so this is going to be 4. So, and that also checks, right, the distance between negative 3 and negative 7 is 4, and that's again the definition of C, the distance between the center and the foci. So, those both check out conceptually. So now we have C and A, but we're trying to get A squared and B squared. Well, A squared, we know, is just 5 squared, which is 25. What's B squared? Well, B squared, right, remembering back, we have that formula that says B squared is equal to C squared minus A squared. I'm sorry, it's actually, it's uh, a squared minus c squared, All right? And so b squared is going to be equal to 25 minus c is 4, squared is 16. If you do uh, 25 minus 16, you're going to get 9, so b squared is 9. And so now we have everything we need to, to generate our equation. We have x, which is a variable we don't need to solve for x. h, we've solved as the x coordinate of the center, which is negative 2, which means it's going to come out to be plus 2, because you're minusing a negative. Over b squared, we said was 9, plus, and then y, and then the k is the um, y coordinate of the center, so in this case it's going to be plus 3. And we're going to square this, and we're going to square this over, and then a squared, which we said was 25, is equal to 1. That is the standard equation of the ellipse which is not centered at the origin. Hopefully that made sense. If any of this was confusing to you, I strongly encourage you to pause the video, go back, rewatch the parts you're confused about. And as always, please reach out. Thank you.